So now we're going to the uh, to the next part. This is where Chris Squire comes up and him him and Bruford are playing that. It's like one of my favorite little moments on the album. I don't know about you guys. Leave comments below on your favorite moments on, on Close to the Edge album. It's just amazing. So we're on C sharp minor. And then F sharp minor. And G sharp minor. And then it goes down. Let's say uh, this is a new section here. So it's going to be... E with a G sharp, uh, which is like like this. So this is uh, another unique chord, which uh, I love this chord actually. It's basically like if you're playing a C, but it's sliding it up and you're adding a bar to it, your finger barring. So in this case, you're on the fourth fret here. You can see that's a G sharp there. And then up here is your root note, which is an E, because that's a, that's a E chord, right? Same as like this part of the chord, but it's down here. So let's start again from that little part on E. A, 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 and then A. I think it does that a few times, cycles through that. And now let's look at the next line. That's a C sharp sus two, so I'll flash that chord up there for you. C sharp sus two, right? We're on our fourth fret here, root on the fifth string, and then let's look at this as a chord first, and then we'll pick it out later. So there's a chord back from here to here, and then we're sliding up. So as a chord. That's how it sounds. But what Steve Howe does, which is kind of crucial to the song at that point, he's going. All right, so basically, uh, no specific way to pick that part, but this part specific, you've got to go. If that's difficult for you, just practice back and forth. Uh. And then there's a little riff. sort of taught you the chords of the section so you, you should have a grasp on that once you get to know the song I like to teach this little riff because it's so essential to uh, Steve Howe discography you know uh, as far as all of his famous riffs it's to me one of his most famous he does that in um... and there's others too it's just a cool little kind of a country-ish riff I'd like to teach you that so basically I'll do a little graph of what it looks like, and, then, and as well as you can see. So, basically just hammering on. And we're on the second and third string, right? And then, so, you have, that's pretty crucial. You have to move your hand, okay? So you're starting off, you're in the, sort of the fourth fret position here. But then you slide, being from the fourth to the second fret position. You see your first, let's call that your fret position is where your finger is, right? That's sort of the root section where your finger is sort of rooted. So you go. You slide that and then pull off and then hit the C sharp there. Fifth string, fourth fret. So that's 
pretty fast slide, right? I think. So. So here, it's just uh, you're fretting the fifth fret on the second and first fret uh, strings there. And then your third finger is hammering on to the uh, two frets up on the B string. So, and then uh, slide it up another whole tone. So. And if you notice that's like a bar chord, right? There's an A there, so your finger naturally is going to want to go there. So again. Okay, that's good enough to cover that. Now let's continue on. So now we're going for another um, row of chords, which I will put there again. I, I guess I'll be putting this in the description part, so you can copy and paste that. So now we're at C sharp minor, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, and G sharp. And that's one little section that comes in there. And then we've got E, A, B, and then A. And then we get to the uh, this part again. G, F sharp major, and then A, and then G, and then B. the B up here. It's sort of a nice effect to stay all on the same kind of string, uh, bottom string kind of chords. And of course the the free flow of this it doesn't really have a time signature. It's just kind of it's just kind of flowing and there's no real you know, definite beat. It's just sort of the the way the the song finishes. It's such an epicness. I just love it. The end on the B, and then. Uh, And then it goes back to the section, uh, you know, after the sort of the dramatic finale, and then it's just a quiet section here, and the piano has just gone, dur, 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 you know, Greek style, right to the bottom of the keyboard. And then... And I've, saw, I've taught this in part one, I'm pretty sure. It does that a couple times, and then the last three chords are. And I'll flash those on the screen. Basically, it's following the same kind of pattern where you're leaving the B string open and you're playing these major chords, uh, inversions, and whatnots. Uh, I, I'm mostly self taught, so that's why I don't get too much into the technicality of it, you know. My knowledge is basically. So that's how you finish. And then Steve Howe has his uh, guitar or his uh, pedal steel going up to the, the the heavens, basically up to the heavens. It soars like a like a bird into the sunset. Beautiful song, and you I it was fun to teach that to you. So thanks for. Um, doing the lesson with me make sure you leave a comment below and how the lesson did how i did if there's anything you want me to improve or you need more 
detail, uh, let me know, and perhaps I could t tackle it in future videos. And uh, so it's really been a pleasure teaching you. Yes, uh, there's uh, no better band in the world as far as I'm concerned. Signing off, it's Dean. Talk to you later. Bye now.